Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can, and together we can game. In the last episode of Can Play Kingdom Hearts, we met up with Ariel. We went to her father's palace to see if he was alright, and he told us to be careful. We are not supposed to be here. But Goofy accidentally let it switch about the keyhole. Switch, I meant slip. But that's why he's banned for the party. No, I just wanted to show Ariel off. Show off some of her abilities. Immediately uses magic using Arrow on herself and Donald. Very nice. Love that. Really think it shows off some of her abilities. Now notice she doesn't have a weapon. If we go into equipment, you're going to see no weapon. You can just see her strength is 19 or MP is five. You can also see some stuff added to the journal after that entire little interaction. So if we go into characters, you can learn about Ariel. You can learn about her father and Sebastian and Flounder. Gives a little bit more in the journal there. You, of course, you can read it at your own time. And then we can see the sea neon, those jellyfish creatures, the screwdrivers, those scuba diving creatures, the aqua tanks that were mentioned there, the pink Agarcius, again, Agarcius, hopefully that's how you pronounce it, that unique enemy we saw, a dancer by nature, some really cool stuff there. But where do we want to go? Well, why don't we go back to Ariel's Grotto in the Undersea Gorge? This is very important. Come to my grotto. I want to show you something. There it is, see? So if you didn't know what it was, that is how you can find it. I want you to remember this dolphin. It's gonna be important a little bit later. Thank you, Ariel. Healing our team, doing the most as we go into the grotto. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I've collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday, I'm gonna see what's out there. I wanna see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said, Oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just, he just doesn't understand. And we see Sebastian listening in, looking on in. Ah, part of your world. This is a beautiful number. I love the music that plays here. Such a tender moment between both Ariel and Sora. There's this really big fish who can swim against the current, but he's scared of those weird things swimming around. So. If we chase them away, I think the big fish will play with us. Maybe if you grab onto him, he'll take you somewhere. So if you do not know what to do and you don't talk to Flounder here, you can get lost. So Flounder is incredibly important. Again, I pointed out that dolphin. This is where I see a lot of people getting stuck. Ha! Those impudent fools will never find the keyhole. But the girl could prove useful, and I've got the heartless on my side. Triton, my old friend, <laughs> your day is coming. <laughs> Ursula, the sea witch, the reason the heartless are here. Now, as we learned, that dolphin is afraid of these things, these different types of enemies. So if we want to go anywhere here, we're going to need to get rid of them. If we examine, it's stuck in the hole. How can it be pulled out? Foreshadowing. So what we're going to need to do is find all the heartless in this area and take them out. So our dolphin friend, or as Flounder said, our big fish friend, will want to do more. You can see the attack style of Ariel, especially for clearing out Heartless. She's good. She's really a great addition to the party. Obviously, she's a natural born swimmer. They're, their dolphin friend is not going to continue forward if we have these in the way. Understandable. But with them frozen in time, they're going to take their damage. Now, hopefully, we can show that if one of these is taken out slowly, three of the sea. Sea <laughs> Aquions are going to be taken out as well. Nice job there, Donald. And when you notice that you can't find your dolphin friend, hopefully we can show this. Mm. Thunder Gem? 
Ah, there they are, the Heartless. I was like, where are the more Heartless? If he still takes you in a circle pattern like he was about to do, they're a Heartless. And as I was wondering where they are, literally behind me they came. So now, while he suffers from the consequences of magic, our friend should go ahead and get out of here. Yes, we should be able to watch him swim away, no? Where? Where are there still Heartless? The fun part about this is sometimes there can be Heartless in places you don't expect. So I think maybe there's some over here which could be holding him back. Hmm? No, I might have to swim out and swim back in. And he might be gone, it might just been that they were there. So if we go to the undersea cave, might have to uh, handle these again. Oh, you don't understand. I've had so many playthroughs where I can't get these things to freaking spawn in for synthesis farming. And here we have them just casually here. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, Andrew. I think. Although if you know, you know. So let's go ahead. See this again? I don't even think this is what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe it is. So we're going to go ahead and get some magic. Let's go ahead. Use magic on him. Nine again. I might be trying to use my spell too quickly. But now, hopefully, our dolphin friend will come with us. Should be gone from swimming in this area. I think he is. Let's check. Should be in the undersea cove now. Is he? Yeah! No, that's my tail. I was like, he's here! No, that's just me. Brush gem acquired. Going into my theory that they are ice-based enemies. So I think if we go back, we'll see our dolphin friend swimming around. Again, it is a, this is what I think some people dislike about this level, and I understand completely. You kind of are the mercy of the game at this point, and sometimes, even if you clear those two paths, you may not even see him spawn. He might have already spawned out, so just for the sake of trying, we're going to leave the Undersea Cove, and we've cleared out the Heartless here. In theory, he might be in the Calm Depths already. Yes, he is! But again, it can be kind of finicky. If you have issues with that, just keep trying. Try leaving and entering the area. Again, if you didn't talk to Flounder, that can really trip you up. And I have had friends not know that. This is, again, from grade school, and none of us were the best. But yeah, if you don't know to take out or talk to Flounder to figure out what to do, there are some people who don't talk to the NPCs, and they just keep going, hoping. So yeah, that can be very confusing. And you need him because he can go through these strong currents. Now... Even here, where could he have gone? Well, there's only one way to go, and that is up. Gives us a chance to show off what I mentioned before. Well, hopefully, he's swimming around here, and we can just enjoy taking out some enemies. Ooh, gotta be careful on my magic usage, clearly. And three of the little ones will spawn out. Go ahead and use this effectively. All of us are not doing the worst with our magic, but we could definitely be better. Maybe it is my fault. All right. Let's go ahead and get some of our magic back, at least for now. I don't really think my health is in that dire of a position. It's more so getting just more magic so when it is time. Again, if you're having issues with the Heartless where they are, locking on is really a good strategy just to quickly swim over to them. Although I have not seen our dolphin friend, which is a little concerning. He might be... Might be down below. Hopefully he is not. And if he is, well, we're just going to have to swim back and get him. Although... Yes, he is out here. Perfect. We hold on. We will be taken probably in a circle. I don't think we've taken out all the Heartless, or maybe we have. If not, he'll take us where we need to go. Yes, he takes us right down into deeper. Into the calm depths. Do not swim back. Uh, don't make that mistake. However, let's go ahead and take this time to add items. Hint, hint of what is to come. So, Sora's fine. Donald could use a little help. Let's go ahead and take out some of these that we have. Go ahead and give you a potion or two, Donald. 
And then, why not a Mega Ether? We already have one on you. You can heal yourself. I think it's a pretty good, good idea. Ariel has some. We have some. And you know what we can do? We're using these darn cottages for something. All right. And there we are, fully back to where we need to be. There's our dolphin friend coming on out. Let's head to the sunken ship. Now this is such a cool part. If you know the movie, this is directly inspired by that. There are some chests on the outside you can swim around to. What is this? Huh? What is that thing? Keep that in mind. It's going to be important. Yes, here they are. Some of these chests. You want to go ahead and get them now before going deeper into the sunken ship. Trust me on this. Mithril shard obtained. It's always good just to explore. Love swimming through that little ring. It's such a minor detail. It just makes me happy. I don't know. I enjoy the small things. Elixir. You could also just add the items here if you want. Is there one more over here? No. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to head down. That can't be good. So behind here. There is a chest here. We can open. A thrill shard. We go down here. There is... Hitting it might open it. There is something down here too. Mithril. It's pretty quiet. Maybe. Too quiet. You want to try to destroy this barrel? I don't know if it's right here. Yes, can get some items. You can destroy these. They may look... It's kind of hard to tell if you're damaging them, but in one of them is an item, if I remember correctly. Maybe a little bit of magic with stuff there. What is with this camera angle? Shark! <laughs> Woo! A little foreshadowing of what's to come. Hmm. Its shape reminds me of something. Obtain Crystal Trident. Let's go ahead and swim on out and fight. Kind of a mini boss. Although he doesn't get that acknowledgement pretty much anywhere else. It is a shark. You can use magic on him. Stop is a good time to put him into a bit of a bind so that we can then use magic like this. We can use arrow to protect ourselves. You can also use it on Donald. Or Ariel, of course, getting the value out of all three in the party. You know what? Ariel used it on us before. Well, actually, no, she didn't. And thank you, Donald. By being good to them, they'll be good to us. So let us take him out. A hundred experience. Again, mini boss esque but not... Not exactly. He does drop some items, though. We got a high potion, an ether, and I don't think there's anything else I can see. Maybe... We go higher. Again, you can go all the way up. Now that that is done, you can actually use the way he got in some of these different methods. You can also use that outfit. So I really do think it's cool. Just kind of different ways you can handle this. And now, maybe it was this barrel. I know one of these barrels has an item I need. It makes sense. Ether, ether. Good items, though. I don't know why I keep thinking there's something in these barrels. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I've already gotten it. Maybe it's just those ethers. It could just be. I might be misremembering. Seems like I am. No worries. Let's go ahead and make our way outside of the ship. Now, by waiting a little bit, you can see kind of what happens. So there's two ways we can go. We can go out the way we came, or we can take this bottom path to the undersea gorge. Now, how do we get out of here? Well, we do this. Uh-huh. See that treasure chest we mentioned? We can go back down once the geyser chills. And it will chill, kind of. <laughs> Another use of that right there frost gem we can go ahead and take these out why not they can be annoying we've got the power to do so a little bit of xp never hurt nobody 
And now, let's go back to the grotto where maybe that crystal triton can be useful. It is useful. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Let's go ahead and see. Ariel, you've disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! How could you? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. My, my. The poor child suffers such deep sorrow. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes, maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. First, you can help. Cold, my dear. You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Huh? Now listen carefully. And like that, we have a lot. We are not welcome in these waters. Triton does not like that we are here. We talk to Flounder again, again, talk to these NPCs. Where did Ariel go? I want to go look for her, but I'm sort of scared. Ah, oh, a lot of familiar drama. We are just in the middle of it, we know. We're just trying to help a new friend. We're having deep conversations, at least to Sora. He can relate to Ariel, just wanting to get out, just wanting to do more. So, I completely understand where he's coming from. Especially considering it's not fun being stuck on an island. But, Ariel is now doing whatever it takes. There are some slight differences in, than in the movie. Obviously, in the movie, it is a statue of Prince Eric, but spoilers for a very old movie. Ooh, level up, strength up. And I saw something for Donald there. Very nice. So where did Ariel go? If you remember, there's this little place I have not shown off. This is where Ariel was. If we go to the undersea garden, you can see her lounging on this rock. Over here is a sh clam shell where we get a mega potion. Well, maybe we should talk to King Triton. We don't know where Ariel went. I think the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing, I can help you get to these other worlds you long for.
Oh no, Ursula and Ariel are there, but we're gonna have to do our best to get there. <sighs> so, if you cannot tell, Ursula is the one summoning the Heartless. We got that from that cutscene in the last episode with Sebastian and King Triton. But, we still don't want them harming our new friend. So, one thing I will say is that I think that there are a lot of parties at fault here. I think that Triton should just be more honest with Ariel. Tell her, you know, hey, I'm trying to protect you. Here's why. Here's what this is. But again, he's also a king and he doesn't need anyone telling him anything. So, I get it. But, all important stuff to think about, especially as we go on. I could just go straight to Triton. But why not go ahead and handle some of these while we are over here? See if we're too late to help out. We also have a new type of enemy now. I believe this is the Aqua Tank is the name of it, if I'm remembering again. Some of these I remember, some of them I don't. Some of them have really unique names, and some of them are just really clever. Again, we have a diver, we have a submarine that the divers kind of hold on to, an Aqua Tank. I mentioned it a little bit in the last episode. So if we go to our journal real quick. I actually think in Chronicles we'll have Atlantica, we have Monstro finished. So we have Atlantica. Ariel, who longed to go to the outside world, offered to help find the keyhole. Now let's find the keyhole with Ariel. Out of where we are, characters, the Heartless. Let's go ahead. Yeah, Aqua Tank, perfect. Such a cool idea and concept. Again, I do think this world is creative, though I get why some people do not like it. <laughs> the Trident is mine at last, and I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes. We had a deep, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the Heartless. We cannot find the keyhole. The keyhole is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, Hansel. <laughs> Daddy! The Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right! I'm right behind you, Ariel! So! Actually, no, you're not. You're gonna come with us in spirit, Ariel. Ursula draws her power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. If you skip that part or don't pay attention, it can come back to bite you. Be very careful. Also, it's good to know Sebastian is willing to help. He will be right behind Ariel. So, before we get going on out, we're gonna go ahead and heal up using the save point. And we're gonna go ahead and fight Ursula. In the next episode, let me know, what did you think about the familiar drama? What are your thoughts on having to clear out the Heartless to let that dolphin go around? I'm curious what you have to say. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. I'm Andrew Can. Together we can game, and I hope you have a great day.